All right, this is a how-to video on how to adjust the rear pan hard bar. So the relation of the center line of the rear axle is called the thrust angle. And you use the rear pan hard bar to adjust the thrust angle. We want the thrust angle ideally to be in the center. So if you saw an alignment sheet, the thrust angle would be at zero degrees. So how do we do this without an alignment rack? First of all, why would you want an adjustable pan hard bar? So a lot of you guys probably know if you lower your Corolla and don't have an adjustable pan hard bar, the rear axle does not like lower into the body straight up and down. It actually lowers at an angle. So depending how low your Corolla is and you're running the factory pan hard bar, you'll see one wheel, probably, I think it's the driver side one, it'll stick out further. And then you'll go to your passenger side and this one's more into the body. So when you lower your Corolla, you always need an adjustable pan hard bar to get that thrust angle back to zero. So how do I know how to adjust this guy? So besides the set of wrenches to adjust your pan hard bar, the only other tool you'll need is a tape measure. And a skinny one like this will actually work better. So I was taught this by a local hero in our NorCal community, Dave Theodore. Thank you, Dave. What you're going to do, you want the wheels torqued and on, installed on the car and what you're doing is measuring from the inner lip of the wheel to a point on the frame of the chassis. So what I like to do is I'll put the butt of my tape measure against the wheel and then try to make it as straight as possible and then I will use this little hole and I'll get my measurement that way. So from here on the rim to here, this hole on the chassis. And we use the rim because that's the most accurate. You don't know how the chassis has shifted if you're measuring to like the pinch weld right here or something else. So I will get this number and this number and I will compare them and get these two ideally the same number so so butt of my tape put it against this and then and then get this thing as straight as possible and then I'll be able to read my measurement there and so it'll be different for every car depending how you you know the size of your wheels stuff like that all right, so that is our how-to video for adjusting your rear pan hard bar and why you would want a rear adjustable rear pan hard bar. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment in the description below. If you like these how-to videos, leave a comment. Um, I would love to make more. Just let me know what how-to video you want to see. And then in this description, consider buying merch, being a supporter on Patreon. Check out our other social media channels. Thanks, you guys.